Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Williams, your host of the Weekly Wellness Channel. Today we're visiting the labs of GVAN Biosciences. GVAN Biosciences is a biotech company that does a lot of research within the realm of cancer. As you might know, over 250,000 women this year will be diagnosed with breast cancer. It's important to understand that not all breast cancers are the same. There are some that are more aggressive than others. One that is most aggressive is called triple negative breast cancer. So today, while a lot of patients with this disease get adequately treated, we still are concerned about their risk of recurrence. Therefore, a lot of more research is needed in order to improve our results. So today, we're interviewing Dr. Roddy Nash, founder, CEO of GVAN Biosciences. Dr. Nash, can you enlighten us on what your company is doing to fight this potentially dreadful disease? Yes, as we know, triple negative breast cancer is a very awful disease. Uh, it's much more aggressive than the other types of breast cancer, and our goal at GVIN Biosciences is to develop uh, a new model, a, a cellular model, if you will, uh, more of a human model uh, for looking at uh, drugs that work in various patients. We actually develop the cell models uh, from uh, the actual tissue that's taken from the patient, from an actual biopsy. Uh, we're able to extract what we call the cancer initiating cells or cancer stem cells from the actual tumor and we can grow them in a dish and we can then uh, use different drugs to determine which drugs would work with that particular patient. Mm. And on that note, as we know that not all breast cancers are the same, but we also know that cancers behave differently in certain ethnic groups and are at a higher incidence in certain ethnic groups and therefore certain treatments may or may not benefit one group over the other. Is that something that you're trying to solve as well? Absolutely. Uh, in the case of triple negative breast cancer, there's a higher incidence in African American women uh, at 33 percent versus in Caucasian American women, which is at about 10 percent. Uh, now, both groups are very important, uh, but uh, why is it higher in one versus the other? Those are questions that still remain. Uh, having uh, actual models that are derived from the actual patients will help to eliminate uh, the differences that you see with animal models versus human models. Uh, also, the drugs that are used, for instance, like doxorubicin, it's a great drug, but its use in African Americans has been uh, proven to lead to uh, potential heart failure, and heart damage, and other risks uh, dealing with the heart. Uh, whereas with Caucasians, the, the same thing hasn't been seen. Uh, so we need to have uh, these different models to look at other treatments, other avenues that may work versus the traditional treatments that are out there now. Mm -hmm. So how can the general public help GVAN to participate in the conquering of this disease? Absolutely. Uh, if they go to our website, uh, www Jeevan Biosciences, it's Jeevan, J-E-E, -E, V as in Victor, A-N, Biosciences, with an S on the end, dot com. Uh, they could sign up and work with their physicians to actually uh, allow us to procure a piece of their tissue sample, which we could then use to uh, add to our list of samples that we already have uh, to develop what we would consider to be more of a map uh, yeah. of showing uh, different ethnicities and, and how different drugs would work on their particular tissue sample. And also we have a, a uh, site on there with our video of, uh, of Think of Eight, uh, eight women mm -hmm. that you may uh, uh, know and love and could be your mother, your, your grandmother, your sister, your daughter, your neighbor, your best friend. One of them statistically will develop uh, breast cancer. We have a, uh, a donation page up to help with the research as well and we uh, we welcome that and we uh, look for any kind of, kind of support that we can get. Great, great. Well, it sounds like a lot of things are happening at GVAN Biosciences. We hope to get the information we need to further improve our treatment. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So until next week, be healthy, be happy, and be kind.